Hi folks, it's Philip Andrews from the Elements team introducing Premier Elements 11. It's a program that you can use for organizing, finding and viewing all of your videos, your sound clips and your photos. And then you can combine all of these elements together to create fantastic movies and video sequences. You can add special effects and then share them with your friends and family either online or on your computer. The program is made of two different parts. We have the organizer, which we use for managing all your video clips, and we have the video editor, which we use to combine these clips together into little movies. Let's have a look at the organizer to start with. The organizer workspace enables you to import all of your files, either directly from folders on your computer or from camera or card reader, and from scanners if you're actually looking at photographs as well. Once they're inside the organizer workspace, you'll get a preview of the files inside this center section. On the left hand side we have the ability to sort all of your video clips into albums. On the right hand side we can organize our assets with tags or check out information specific to any particular clip by selecting it and just looking at the information panel. We also have a couple of drop down menus here where we can take the pictures and videos that we have inside the organizer and add them to specific projects. For video clips, one important option here is the Instant Movie. Instant Movie is where you can select multiple clips inside the organizer workspace and then add some stylistic animation and titles and sound and audio to your video clips in order to create a finished presentation. We also have options for sharing and in this share panel you can see that we can push our videos up to YouTube, to the Photoshop Showcase as well or Vimeo. There are other options such as online video sharing or exporting your videos in a format that's suitable for mobile phones. We can do all of this from inside the organizer workspace. But what if we want to get creative and add some special effects and maybe some editing and adjustments to our video clips. Let's select one of these sequences and then just go down to the bottom of the screen and pick video editor. Once inside the editor workspace, you'll see that we have two different modes, the quick and the expert mode. The quick mode is a great place to start. It provides us with a simple timeline at the bottom of the screen, plus a preview panel in the center. We have adjustments over on the right hand side, and any of these controls can be applied to a single clip or multiple clips. So for instance, if we wanted to change the saturation of this clip here, we could simply select it and then go to saturation, and then select one of the thumbnails that you see here to apply that adjustment across the whole of the video clip. Doing things like trimming the video clip is very easy. Just move to the right or left hand end of the clip and click and drag to shorten the clip. Notice that you'll get a preview of the new out point on the left hand side of the screen. On the right hand side, you'll see the in point for the next clip. Automatically the clips are shuffled up so that you get no gaps in your sequence. Down along the bottom we have a range of options and special effects that we can apply to the video sequence. You can see there's tools here and there are things like the adjustments that we just looked at but also freeze frame, adding a menu, adding narration, remapping the time or applying smart trim. Things like transitions are very easy to apply we just click and drag them across to a transition point and then make a determination about whether that transition is just applied to the left clip, the right clip or between the two clips and then just click done. Those transitions are easy to apply and easy to edit in this way. We have options for titles and text as well and it's a drag and drop arrangement again to apply them to your video sequences. There's a range of special effects and of course music and graphics as well. If you want to get a little deeper into the adjustments and the editing, go over to the expert mode. And here you can see we have an expanded view of the tracks that you're working with and you can work with multiple tracks just like you would in a professional video editing program. Once you've completed all the adjustments and editing of your video sequence and you want to publish the movie, go up to the publish and share panel on the right hand side. You can see there's a range of options here including the ability to publish online or you can go straight to Facebook or to YouTube with your video creations. So remember that Premiere Elements has two working spaces, the organizer workspace for organizing and managing your clips and sequences, and the editor workspace for editing, adjusting, and publishing your movie creations. Mm -hmm.
Thank you.